like this. So what's going to guide us to change these things? And uh, I want to show you also, there's a special ed teacher who sent me five, well, she asked her whole class to draw pictures of what it felt like to take standardized tests. These are special needs kids. I selected five of them. It's amazing. These are just tests, but look what it does to kids. I'm not saying there shouldn't be tests, but I'll tell you these high stake tests for some of these kids. Oh, wow. Look at this. The week was confusing. It was hard. These were fifth and sixth graders. It was hard work. We had to go in and out the door. It was stressful. That's a bad hair day uh, there. My week was very confusing because we had to miss some classes. I kept on getting my times messed up. I kept on thinking that we had to go to the subject we already missed. You know what I found? You changed the routine for some of these kids and it totally disorganized them. Now I'll say this softly. You change the routine for some of their teachers, it disorganizes them too. Look at this one. And these are incredible. This is just taking a test. I felt tense, bewildered, angry, confused, strange. Here's another cry for help. All they were asked to do was draw what it feels like to take these tests. I found, by the way, one kid used a great coping strategy. Isn't this great? Fall asleep. Fall asleep. The rest of the world goes away. It was good because at the end of the week we went to the mountains. And this next one, folks, I love because this is how I think many of us often feel trying to help kids. Have you ever felt this way? I felt so frustrated this week. I'm so glad it's over. I felt like exploding. I dread this test every year. Oh, if only we could be more empathic and see the world through these kids' eyes. Whatever. So, then what comes up is now we're going to go back to the, the features of, as I say, of the positive mindset. We already know the thing is you have to be empathic, use empathic communication, ask what you can do differently. You know, the things we covered yesterday and this morning. Now what I wanted to co cover is I've often been asked when you're actually doing interventions then, what are some of the guideposts you use? You know, you, you mentioned you mentioned